Today, Apple unveiled a colorful line of lower cost iPhones and a new flagship iPhone 5S. Details here. At today's keynote, Apple validated many of the rumors swirling around a new diversified line of iPhones to suit different budgets, performance needs, and yes, color preferences. The devices announced today were the iPhone 5C and the iPhone 5S, both of which will run iOS 7, which we first heard about in June. And iOS 7 isn't strictly eye candy, Apple wants you to know. In addition to all the pretty colors, you'll also see a new single swipe control panel and notification center, improved search, new ringtones and default text tones, and a smarter Siri. Also improved is Apple's photo app, which are now categorized into moments. They've also added airdrop photo sharing and numerous other improvements, including iTunes Radio. iOS 7 will be available for free on September 18th. But we already knew about most of this, onto the phones themselves. And guess what? The iPhone 5 is going away. It won't be sold anymore in Apple stores. Taking its place are one high-end and one lower-end model. The latter is the 5C priced at 99 bucks for 16 gigs and 199 for 32 gigs, both with a two-year contract. What is it? iPhone 5C is beautifully, unapologetically plastic. Well, specs-wise, the iPhone 5C has a 4-inch Retina display, is powered by an A6 chip, will include 4G LTE support, and will have a lightning cable, as well as a 8-megapixel eyesight camera with a 5-element lens. What else? Lots and lots of color options, which include that beautifully plastic frame and a bunch of Apple-made cases to choose from. Apple makes it pretty clear that the 5C is intended for emerging markets or those just getting started in the Apple ecosystem. But then there's the 5S. Again, pretty, if more sophisticated, metallic colors, including the rumored gold and one called Space Gray. As for the inside of the device, Apple touted significant performance improvements, which includes the A7, a 64-bit chip and what they call desktop class architecture. All told, they say the 5S is up to twice as fast as the prior gen with twice the graphics performance, showing these new benchmarks with some gameplay from Infinity Blade 3. There's also something new called the M7, which is a dedicated chip to measure motion data, accelerometer, gyroscope, and compass, everything you need for fitness tracking, which could hint at future developments for Apple. Also new are some big improvements to the camera, including a 120 frame per second slow-mo mode, burst mode that takes up to 10 frames per second, auto image stabilization, better image processing, and a color changing flash. All adding up to what Apple is calling SLR quality photo options in your new 5S phone. Last but not least, there's that fingerprint sensor we heard so much about. Called Touch ID, this is a 500 ppi sensor built right into the home button of your phone. It takes the place of the password, eliminating number codes in favor of one touch access to your phone and everything that's in it. It can also be used to authenticate your iTunes purchases. Answering to understandable sensitivity about fingerprint processing, Apple pointed out that Touch ID info won't be stored anywhere online, only locally on the phone. The iPhone 5S is priced at $199 for 16 gigs, $299 for 32 gigs, and $399 for 64 gigs, all with contract. Both phones will go on sale September 20th. For more Apple details and analysis, check out the rest of our coverage at revision3.com slash Apple. Will you be buying either of the new phones? Let us know your reaction in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. For TFN, this is Annie.